Good morning Pisces. Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today this early early morning I'm gonna start doing readings for you guys. My plan for today um, is to actually make three readings. Record three readings for Pisces. This is gonna be the Celtic Cross. I'm gonna do another one for jumper cards and then a pick a card reading. Okay, so today I'm gonna be devoting my time to you guys. Um, it's the weekend and I have a little bit more time in my hands. So let's do this. For all of you Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, guys, click on that subscribe button because this is a place to be. This is a Pisces club. Everything that I can do for my fishies, I do for my fishies. All right. Messages, relevant messages in a Celtic cross for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's pull two cards per position. I take them upright. It's 5 a.m. in the morning here and I feel amazing. <laughs> I love doing this readings when it's super early in the morning and there's no one awake yet. I feel like the energy is so much cleaner. How are you guys doing? How did you guys spend your full moon in Sag last night? Did you do any rituals? I didn't really do anything. I spent it with my mom. She's visiting. There's so much fire energy coming through these days. Okay, two more cards. And we're good to go. At the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Wands. So guys, you may be actually leaving behind a lot of burdens at this time. We got the devil and we got the wheel of fortune. Okay guys, you're taking matters into your own hands in regards to something toxic. You're taking matters into your own hands as far as how to let go of something that has been draining your energy. And you're not only helping yourself, you're also helping those around who feel like they are involved in some, something toxic and that they need to let go, all right? So this is you guys um, taking control, realizing that you have learned the lessons that the universe has intended for you to learn, and you don't need to spend more and more time um, draining your energy in toxic situations, whether this is related to work, whether this is related to family, whether this is related to love or health. All right, so it's like if you had negative health habits, now you feel maybe sick of them. You're like, you know what, I can't spend another second doing this to myself. Or maybe it's a job that's way too demanding and you're like, you know, I could have a better way to do this. You know, like I could leave behind this burden. Or, you know, in a love relationship, it could look like this is super toxic and it's hard to get out of, but I can't spend another minute, you know, being drained by this or worried about this or just being held back. It's like you're taking matters into your own hands to not be held back anymore. Now, the challenge here for some of you guys could be related either to a Taurus or to a um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person. This could for some of you represent a person who has both earth and um, air in their chart. And this is being a little bit of a challenge. So maybe you're trying to let go of someone and it may be proving to be a little bit hard or very hard for some of you. Um, some of you guys are leaving, are trying to leave behind expectations about marriage. 
Some of you guys are literally leaving behind a marriage. Some of you guys are trying to leave behind expectations in regards to an, an earth sign. Uh, I'm sorry, an air sign. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Maybe you had all of these expectations for how things should be or should have been. And now it's like you're trying to leave those behind, but it's not that easy. Like, it's a whole reprogramming that you need to do. At the same time, it may be challenging for you to see things very objectively at this time. You may be having a hard time with the idea of commitment as well. In the recent past, this is very consistent with, with what we received yesterday, in yesterday's reading. The Nine of Pentacles, this is you Pisces, being very comfortable, being very abundant, having your space feel really nice for you. This is you in a very luxurious, relaxed, abundant, prosperous, beautiful space. And at the same time, taking it for granted a little bit. Being so used to certain aspects of your life flowing effortlessly that maybe you forgot how hard it was for you to get to that point. So it's always remember. It's always good to remember um, the moments in which you prayed for what you have now. There was a time in which I prayed for this apartment. And now I am here and now I don't even think about it really. And the same goes for you guys. Maybe you prayed for a relationship and now you're in one. Maybe you prayed for that job at some point and now you're in it. So just keep that perspective in mind before feeling discontent. I know that this discontent <laughs> feeling kind of creeps in. It's not something that we want to feel, obviously. But when it comes in, you know, that could be a thought that can help you balance it out. The universe wants you to know that it's okay to take a pause. It's okay for you to slow down your pace and focus on how you feel and focus on your emotional health, your mental health. It's good for you to take a pause and just love yourself, Pisces. Sometimes we feel so many um, different layers of pressure like you should be doing more, you should be more productive, you should be working out, you should be eating better, you should be, should be, should be. And I mean, obviously all of those things, you know, the idea of those things is improving your quality of life. But if all, if all they do is just being a drain in your mind, I should have done this, I should have done that, release it, Pisces. It's okay for you to take a pause and go within and take a few days for yourself if that's necessary or just weeks, you know, whatever it is, it's okay to pause and evaluate how you want to move forward. In your mind space, you are developing a lot of strength due to things that made you feel at some point, perhaps alone, rejected, abandoned, ignored, maybe by the universe, maybe by another person. It's like you are developing tons of strength, mental strength, mental resilience and balance to see these situations from the past differently or just handle them better. Right now, you are portrayed, Pisces, as a very, very psychic, powerful, spiritual energy. Your intuition is in a high. You have um, a lot to offer the world. You have a lot to offer the collective. Your presence here matters. And the universe wants to continue to remind you of this. Because sometimes we get caught up in the day-to-day -day, um, activities or dramas. And it is... It is good for you to remember that you yourself are something that makes the world a better place. You have a lot to offer. And the world has a lot to offer to you. The more you are yourself and the more you share yourself in a way that is healthy, 
in a way that is sustainable, in a way that you enjoy, the more, you know, life and the universe and God are going to be bringing in blessings to kind of like thank you for your service. I used to say um, in the past that being on a spiritual journey and maybe being a light worker or a public speaker, writer, you know, doing something that helps the collective, it's kind of like being sponsored by the universe. It's like, okay, you do this and we're going to give you everything you want, you know? And it sort of feels that way sometimes. So what can you bring the world? How can you make it better? What do you really enjoy doing that can maybe serve people, help people? Right now you may be feeling like you want to extend an offer of love to someone. Or you have recently extended an offer of love to someone. And maybe you're waiting. You're waiting for an answer. You're trying to, you know, not get discouraged. You're in this kind of like, I won't give up. I don't want to give up. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to reach my goals. I'm so close. This time is going to happen. Even though you don't have the answers, you don't really know how things are going to unfold. You have a very powerful, positive energy of perseverance going forward. In your environment, it's like you are being presented with all these ideas and information and perspectives that are perhaps shifting the way you perceive long-term stability. So, you know, maybe at some point you wanted this four of wands, like this classical image of stability, marriage, happily ever after, you know, and I always say this, your happily ever after should look like you, your happily ever after. So it's like, don't let yourself be influenced by the collective's idea of happily ever after or you see in movies, you know. Some some women are not, or some men are just not made for, you know, a nine to five or a marriage or having kids or, you know, it, uh, that's not for everyone. There's other people that are definitely not made for a nomadic lifestyle or traveling or exploring. Some people just don't really have the skills or the desire to be self-employed while others don't have it in them to go to the same place every single day for the same amount of hours. So Pisces, even though we have a lot in common, we also have a lot of differences that make us who we are. So it is important for you to find clarity on what your happily ever after is. We have talked about this before, because with that clarity, you will most definitely and more easily align yourself with what is, what is your happily ever after and how to get there, right? In your hopes and fears, you wish to continue to be this powerful presence, this connector of the realms, this very intuitive, mystical being. But right now, perhaps there's a lot of ideas of how you can continue to be this high priestess. Maybe there's a lot of ideas like, I could do this, I could do that. Maybe you're feeling a little bit confused about your life mission, your place on this earth, your reason to be. Some of you guys could be experiencing sometimes a little bit of an existential crisis and you have like hopes to discover what you're supposed to be doing but at the same time it's just so confusing that sometimes you don't want to go there you know now we've got the page of swords and the page of wands someone could be spying on you paying attention to you paying attention to your every move they want to see if you're happy without them they want to see if you start um, kind of like catering to this passionate inner energy that you have, Pisces. The Page of Wands is often, you know, representative of someone who's very passionate, inspired, and positively impulsive, and they love leaving life in, you know, all of its color. So there's someone here who's, you know, paying attention to you and seeing, you know, if that awakens within you again. I'm not sure why they want to know this, but they're paying attention to you. Someone is. 
Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person wants to communicate to you that something is holding them back. A doubt, a fear. Some of them don't really want to make a wrong impression of you. So maybe they're like, I want to reach out. I want to talk to you, Pisces. But I don't want you, you to think that I am trying to get away with something. Or I don't want you to think that um, I have a different plan in mind. Like, I just want to connect to you. And you may be just focusing on yourself. You know, focusing on what feels right for you. But I love this energy that you have in the near future. That's like, I don't really know all the answers. But I'm moving along anyway. Like, I'm going to make things happen. And as far as, like, love and things like that, you know, or whatever it is that you're feeling like you need to leave behind, what I'm hearing is if it comes, let it. And if it goes, let it, you know? You're in a very powerful space right now of certainty. You're in a powerful space of groundedness. And that's the most important thing, Pisces. Okay, so keep at it. Don't give up. I love you, my fishies. I love you so much. Thank you so much for your donations, guys. I can't explain to you. I always say it, and I always mean it. <laughs> it's, it's looking and sounding like a script. But honestly, it comes every time directly from my heart in absolute gratitude. I really appreciate every cent sent my way, guys. For those of you who have done really big donations... Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, and, you know, every single donation is appreciated. So if you ever feel like giving back that way, you can click on the join button next to the subscribe button. And if by any chance that button is not there for you in your country, um, you can check out the link that is in the description box below. I'm going to leave also my website, the online courses that I offer, and all of the resources. I love you, my fishies, so much. I'm going to be doing another reading. I'm going to be doing a pick a card now, okay? Stay posted. Bye, my loves.